So remember when I did the speed build for Beachside Bliss? Well, it wasn't exactly what I had in mind when I started that renovation. So we started out with a build that had a um, mostly open floor plan, I think. Uh, well, anyway, the floor plan needed help. <laughs> the interior decorating needed help. So I went ahead and I renovated it. I had in mind a small cottage with a homey feel. And so after I got the renovation done and I went back and looked at it and did a little bit of gameplay with it in one of my save files, I realized that it was actually a little bit too big to give me that cozy cottage type feel that I was looking for. So I did another version of the reno where I made the house a little bit smaller, not by much, but just enough to really give me that cottagey type feel that I was going for. So let's go back to Brindleton Bay, back to our Beachside Bliss, and this version I call Beachside Blissed Out. So basically what I did was that whole back section of the house behind the stairwell got deleted because it was just it was too much house i i really wanted the living room to feel cozy and warm and close and you know a place where you could like curl up with your dog or cat or a book or your lover and really feel that coziness and i wasn't getting that so i got rid of the back of the house starting with the living room and um, just consolidated things a bit it it wasn't really complicated. I think the most complicated part was adjusting the roof, which actually that wasn't complicated either because I was able to delete the portion of the roof that had given me a bit of a challenge when I did the original renovation and added that bay window. So the way things stand now, the roof was much easier to deal with. And you'll see that when we get to that part of the video. So here I'm just moving things over you know we lost probably the equivalent of uh, four or five feet of uh, living room space so I am um, moved things up in the living room and then I also closed the floor plan originally I had the downstairs as a very open floor plan but open floor plans don't give that cozy cottage feel so I did a closed floor plan with some arches one leading into the kitchen and one leading from the entryway and that really closed the living room off and it gave it more of that cozy type feel that I was going for. Some light blue on the walls also added to that cozy feeling and I went with the blue because we're by the, we're by the water. So if you're by the seaside, the blue ties into that perfectly, especially if you're looking out that gorgeous bay window out the back and you're looking right over onto the sea, you know, from the blue walls, it just ties it in nicely. I didn't um, change the shape of the side of the house. I didn't want the house to just be a box and that's a danger that I would have run into um, by trying to shrink it on that side. So I really, I left the front and the sides, uh, side walls the same, but I brought the back of the house in a few feet and it really made a difference. So once I closed in the kitchen, then I was able to move the pet stuff to another corner, add some stuff on the wall, and I moved the table away from the window and put it in the middle of the floor. So now you really have an eat-in kitchen where your table and chairs are right there in the kitchen. And um, it has more of that down-home feel like that. Again, I struggled with the Windows EA Sims team. I really, really hope that you see the tweets that I posted a couple of weeks ago about possibly giving us a window and floor decorations stuff pack. It would really step up the builds I'm able to share to the gallery. So since this cottage is really thought of for one person, two at the most, I didn't really see the need for double vanities. So I got rid of one of the vanities in the bathroom um, and added an extra window so that you have a little bit more natural light 
coming into the bathroom. And here you see I'm adjusting the roof. So bringing the house in really made it a lot easier for me to do a roof that fits it. I even brought the, I got rid of the balcony upstairs and brought that overhang in by one. So I really didn't need to put like columns or anything like that. It, it's uh, a type of uh, architectural thing that I've seen before where you have like a slight over overhang, but you don't necessarily have any columns. So it looks like it's kind of floating. And instead of having the uh, painting easel upstairs, this time I put it in the backyard. And that'll feature prominently when I actually finish the back patio space. I um, originally couldn't figure out much what to do with that backyard. I mean, we had more space now because the house had come in by quite a few feet. And what I ended up doing, um, you won't see that as part of the speed build because after the speed build is when I came up with the idea, but what I ended up doing was a paved um, patio space around the side and the back of the house. And I think I, I may have even brought the bathroom in. I think I ended up bringing the bathroom in by um, one tile just to make more space in the backyard. So you truly can have a patio space um, with a fence and all of that. So I started some of the, did more landscaping, you know, now that we actually have usable yard space, it made sense to do the landscaping. So I spent a little bit of time doing some landscaping around the side and around the back. I don't think I have the landscaping in the back as part of the speed build, um, but here we go. So this is what it looked like by the time I was done. I did bring the bathroom in so that it's flush now with the house. So you have that patio space out back. And now the house has a much cozier feel. I'm much happier with it now than I was when I was done with it. And so um, I have uploaded this to the gallery. This one is called Beachside Blissed Out. So go to the gallery, download it, download it, enjoy it with your gameplay. I'm enjoying it. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.